Hello, today I'm going to present the integration of OpenDSSG and OpenDSSGIS. OpenDSSGIS is the platform we have at EPRI for integrating GIS with schematics described in OpenDSS language. So to get in there from OpenDSSG, first go to Simulator and you have two options. One is to go through the Tools palette and select the GIS menu or just go to the menu bar and select GIS. So once you're there, just start OpenDSS GIS or you can manually start it from the Windows Start. So once OpenDSS GIS uh, is active, the first thing we can do from G is verify that it's working properly. So, uh, and after that we can reorganize the, the screen, splitting the, the, the screen to two for G and GIS. So the first step is going to be to verify if OpenDSS GIS is running. It's telling me yes, we're up and running. And the second is I'm going to put G on the la on the right of the, the screen and GIS on the left, which can be done automatically. And you can that do that also with OpenDSS. With OpenDSS. Then I'm going to plot the schematic on top of the map. So automatically the map is going to respond to all the coordinates that I have already in my OpenDSS model and it's going to locate the map on top of them. It's going to locate the schematic on top of the map. I'm going to change the color of the schematic. I want it red in this case. So I do it use, using GIS commands in OpenDSS and that's it. So now what I want to do is to synchronize my G environment with the map. Because yeah, in the map I can zoom in, etc. But what if I want to see exactly the same part of the circuit in in G and GIS? You can do that by going to the GIS options and clicking on Sync, which is what I'm doing right now on the screen. If you check, you see now everything is synchronized. So for the next time I do any action on G, that will synchronize with the map. So right now I'm zooming in in G, and you can see that even when I'm scrolling the schematic in G, the map synchronizes automatically, which is very useful because I can see uh, the same circuit in different, uh, highlighting different features and everything synchronized at the same time. So I don't have to lose detail in terms of the schematic presented in G and uh, what I'm seeing on the map. So for example, let's suppose I want to see the, the substation. You can see the icon of the substation in G and now I'm going to see how it looks like on the map. So it's very easy to just identify where the substation is because you have an icon to the right of the screen. So with that, you know the substation is right there. You can zoom in using OpenDSS GIS and there it is. We have our substation located. Another feature that we have with this synchronism is that every time I use a, I use a visualization or a color palette for highlighting features of the system, like for example, voltage levels, uh, power, etc., that will automatically synchronize on the map, making very easy to identify the different features of the, of the model in both parts. So I can go make a zoom in in OpenDSSG and the colors will, will match in both screens, in GIS and in G. So you can just navigate, go around, and you're going to have exactly the same features highlighted in terms of the feeder behavior in both, in both environments, making it very easy to highlight what you want to show of your system. You can do the same with different visualization, with uh, isolation, with, uh, well, all the different visualizations we have in G. Another feature that we have is that once you are in OpenDSS GIS, you can change the type of map you're seeing. For example, right now we're seeing everything in terms of uh, geographical satellite imagery. But what if you want to change to a type of canvas? Do you want to uh, just highlight the, the roads or uh, show a, a night navigation map and uh, see your feeder on top? You can do this using OpenDSS GIS 
just by selecting the type of map you want to bring, the type of um, the symbols and uh, different text that you want to have on top of the model, on top of the map. Uh, well, it's, it's very easy just by right clicking on top of the map and selecting the visualization that you want, that you want as a map. You can use several. Uh, we have navigation, we have um, open open maps, we have, well, several that can be very useful for what you're trying to do in your study, especially when trying to locate elements within a map. Thank you.